Hello everybody, welcome back. So one question I always get asked is what is my all time favorite hair product? of all time. <laughs> so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite hair styling and hair care products. My favorite hair products of the past year, I suppose. Not of all time, because we don't know yet. So I've got mainly styling items in here and one hair care product as well. So I'll just talk to you about my favorite products, why I like them. Um, and of course, they will all be linked in the description box down below. As always. So you have to excuse a few of these tubs because I do use them every day. They're a little bit grimy from obviously where I'm doing my hair and then I just touch them. But we're gonna start off with the one product that I will forever ever use as long as they make it. And this is the one product that literally I know will work every single time I style my hair. And this is my favorite product of all time ever. Ever since the age of maybe 14, I've been using this product. Um, I'm now in my late 20s, 20-ish. So I've been using this for quite a few years now. And this is Label M's Matte Paste. Um, I tell you guys about this all the time. Whenever you ask what my favorite product is, I say this. So this is one of their smaller tubs. They do do a bigger tub, but um, you don't really need that much. And that's what I like about this product. So first of all, it's a matte paste. So it is a paste with a matte finish, um, which I much, much prefer for my hair. I just feel like, I just feel like it gives you that instant texture. But what I like about this as well is the longer my hair gets, it still has the same amount of hold, which sounds like a product should do that, but I find a lot of products, when my hair gets longer, it struggles to kind of hold the back up. Um, it struggles to kind of keep the weight of my hair up, whereas I find this matte paste goes in so easily, um, not gritty, not dry like a lot of matte products does. Um, it gives me a perfect matte finish um, and then just keeps that volume and keep that hold in my hair. This is one of the only products that does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now I know every product is supposed to do what it says on the tin, right? But you find that a lot of products just don't kind of work. Everyone who uses this product, like every friend that I've given it to, um, now uses this religiously all the time because it is really, really good. The price is a little bit more expensive, I suppose. Like, how much is it? I think for a little tub like this, it's under 10 pounds, but I promise you it's worth it. It is really, really good. I actually need to get a new one because I left it open for like a couple days when I went away and it was completely dried out. Um, there was only a little bit left in there. So yeah, I 100% recommend this for short hair, long hair. If you want that matte finish, but with that hold and texture, this is the perfect product. So as you guys know, I do a lot of product reviews and some of the most popular are what I consider the YouTube products. So we have um, the Blue Mom product we have by Verlaine um, and then we also have Hans de Fuco, which are I call them the YouTube products because they're very very popular on YouTube as far as reviews go as far as you guys asking what ones are the best I think I did the by Verlaine review months and months ago now I kind of rediscovered their Silver Fox product I think when I reviewed it I was kind of like I didn't really talk about the Silver Fox product. I was a little bit like, oh, it's good, and then kind of like brushed it off. But recently, I've been using this. It's got a very, very strong hold, a very strong hold, to the point where if you try and style your hair too much, you do find it pulls and tugs a little bit. But what I'm using this for is if I want a really, really natural look. This is really good at really making the hair stick up at the roots. So like, I'll take a little bit of my fingers, just kind of put it through the roots, and it gives you that massive volume at the front, which you can then kind of play around with with a different product, if that makes sense. So I don't use that as a pre-styling. I'll use like a volume mousse or something like that, which is like a lighter mousse in my wet hair, dry that through, and then use this to give that extra volume just at the roots, especially at the front. Um, and also if I have any like stray bits of hair that just won't behave itself, I'll use this to kind of like keep it in place. But yeah, I just find it funny because I don't think I really talked about Silver Fox that much. And you guys always ask what's better, the dynamite clay or the, sil or the gold digger? And I'm like, actually, I much prefer Silver Fox. But I still definitely recommend getting the, you know, the three set, the gold digger, the Silver Fox and the dynamite clay. Another YouTube product, which I think I did a review for no longer than a month ago, is the original by Blue Man Styling Meraki. Um, in the video, I mentioned that I did like a trial like a first impressions. And at the end of the video, I had a little Snapchat thing saying, I don't really like this as a pre-styler, but as a styling product, I really like it. But recently I've been using it as a pre-styling product, which is, I, I don't know guys, I don't know what happened. Um, I think when I was actually doing the video, I was like, oh, this actually works really well as a pre-styling product. And I think it's cause I used like a smallish amount, do you know what I mean? Then just blow dry that through and it gave me that instant volume. Then when I think I tried it again as a pre-styling product, I think I kind of, used an amount of it 
that I would use, say, if it was a like a pre-styling gel or pre-styling mousse or something like that. I think I maybe just used a little bit too much and left my hair a little bit greasy and a little bit clumped up. I've been using like no more than like a small finger for this and then working that through wet hair and blow drying it through and it really, really does set your hair up for styling, giving you that volume. Also, I've actually been using it as just my main styling product as this has completely ran out now. So yeah, for me, this is just a really good all rounder. I feel like this is something that I now have to have in my hair product drawer because it is kind of like a good backup for everything. Also, I went home for the weekend and I just took this with me rather than taking my pre-styling products and my styling product. And this kind of just did basically everything. This is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and for me now, a must kind of have. And also you guys keep asking me to compare, obviously the Bivalane Blue Man and the Hands of Foucault Claymation. I haven't touched Claymation for no particular reason. I just feel like, these two are better. No reason, don't hate it, it is a good product. But if you are asking me what to get instead, I would say Silver Fox or Gold Digger or the original by Blue Man. Let's have a little break with the styling because I've got a few more styling products here. But let's talk about, about? Let's talk about hair care. Um, one thing that I don't do, that I'm always brought up on in all my videos is using a heat protector. What the heat protector is, is just basically all about preserving the moisture in your hair. So I've always combated that accidentally. I've never even thought about using heat protector because I'm constantly using things like hair oils and hair masks all the time. Literally, I love them. I find it really relaxing to kind of put them through my hair. So that's your answer basically, is that I don't use heat protector because I combat the damage in a different way. So one of my favorite hair masks, I think I showed you guys before, is this Heyo Mayo hair pack, hair nutrition pack, sorry. And this is by Tony Molly. Now this has egg yolk in it and shea butter, shea butter, I never know how to pronounce that. It's always really awkward. But they are both extremely nourishing and moisturizing for your hair. So when I do feel like my hair is getting a little bit dry, which should never really does. A lot of my pre-styling products actually have heat protection in them. I will use this, I will um, wash and shampoo my hair, leave this through, and I'll actually leave it in overnight and then wash it out in the morning, and your hair will feel really soft, really rejuvenated, a lot healthier the next day as well. So yeah, this is one of my favorite. This is one of the cheapest hair masks that I own, literally one of the cheapest. I have hair masks ranging from about $4, which I think this was up to about 100 a hundred pounds, yeah. That one is 100 pounds. And this is by far my favorite. The cheapest is my favorite. Just because it's so basic, it's got all that basic ingredients in it that you need to put moisture back into your hair. This is really, really good and definitely one of my favorites. I'd highly recommend it if you feel your hair is brittle, damaged, um, or just in need of a bit of TLC. Next up, another styling product, and this is the Gatsby, Gatsby Moving Rubber. This is the green one. Um, you guys asked for a Gatsby review months ago and I completely forgot about it, but I am gonna do it eventually. Hello. Come here. Ooh, she's really needy today. <laughs> Don't say hello. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna behave while I film, please. <laughs> Thank you. Care for the light. Oh my God. So I'm showing you guys this one. This is a Gatsby moving rubber. I got this from Japan, but the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I know it's available in India. Um, a lot of you guys from India are asking me about hair styling products available in your country. Um, so there will be a full video coming very soon, but I'm finding it so hard to get products from India. Like they just don't make it easy to ship over here. So yeah, I know Gatsby is available in your country. So this is their Air Rise Moving Rubber. Um, it's a great matte styling product. It looks very, very water-based, but I find it goes in very, very matte and has a really, really good hold as well. Um, so I'd really recommend this as like an everyday kind of styling product. Um, yeah, it's really affordable as well. I think I got this for the equivalent of like, Four pounds, I think I got it from. I did get this in Japan, but I know it is available in India. Okay, so finally, we have a finishing product. So you guys are always telling me that your hair just doesn't stay up no matter what product you use. Are you going? Okay. She's bored, she's bored of me. <laughs> and I swear by hairspray, like I have to use it. My hair is so thick and so long right now that no matter what product you use, it just doesn't hold. It's not gonna give you a hold throughout the day. As much as I'd say that a lot of products have a good hold, I honestly believe that you're not gonna find a 
styling product, like a, a, a paste or a cream, whatever, that is going to give you hold throughout the day, especially if it's a wax. Um, it's just it's just not going to hold. If the wind gets in, it's going to move straight away. Um, so I swear by hairspray, and this is label M's um, hairspray. <laughs> I was going to call it. It is a very, very strong hold without that shiny kind of horrible hairspray, crunchy looking finish. Um, what I like to do this one is spray it on when I finish my hair, leave it about 10 minutes and just do another coat of this hairspray and my hair will not budge throughout the day. It will not move and that's what we want. Um, no matter what product I use, it does not hold throughout the day. Even my beloved, beloved matte paste, a very, very good hold, but it does need a little bit of help with a finishing spray. I feel is the posher name for a hairspray. So yeah, for you guys who always ask me, you need to use hairspray. Hairspray does not damage your hair. You need a light, light hairspray. So yeah, they are my favorite hair products so far, I'm gonna say for the year. So yeah, I hope you got a good mix in there. So let me know if you use any of these products before um, or if you're gonna try them out. Let me know what you think of them. But that is it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on all my socials as well because we can kind of talk a bit more in there, a bit more one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but that's it for now. I will see you next time.